welcome back, Achievers, to a special Spiracy edition dun, dun, dun. Achievers game podcast. Kind of like um, the X Files. You remember that show? I don't know if you ever watched that, Alex. Kind of like X Files, more like a mm-hmm. Twilight Zone esque kind of episode we have today. I'm very excited. Mm. Alex? Mm. We have a regular rigmarole we usually do, some sort of spiel, I say. So very quickly, mm-hmm. Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. This isn't an out-of-ordinary podcast that we normally do. Usually we talk about the gaming news that we think you should know, but today is a little different. I wanted to bring Alex's attention to something. Now, the Achievers probably know this. Some might not. It's a little exciting if you don't know anything about this. Mm-hmm. This is um, what is called the Blue Box Conspiracy. Alex... Tell me what you know about Blue Box. Um, it's called a TARDIS, and it goes... Whoosh. Okay, that's not wrong. So I actually didn't think about that. That's kind of brilliant. Anyways, <laughs> that's not specifically what I mean, but I do respect okay. the Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. Especially since it's kind of a wobbly, timey-wimey kind of episode. Mm-hmm. No, Blue Box is a studio. Okay. It's a studio headed by one Hassan Karaman. Have you ever heard about this man, by chance? I have not. Hassan Karaman? 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 Something like that. Okay. He is the head of the studio. A couple things have happened with this gentleman. We're not going to go deep into him specifically yet. We're going to kind of break this down slowly methodically and with intent achievers this is more of a laid back one so if i if we don't say something that you thought was very compelling leave it in the comments or hit us up to say you left this part out this is more of a chill episode this let's just sit back relax get a nice beverage alex are you drinking anything today uh mountain dew mountain dew i was drinking a kill cliff but this just is just water now What's a kill cliff? A kill cliff? A kill, a kill cliff is a brand. It's a um. Uh, they sell th- three types of drinks and a bunch of stuff on the website. I just buy drinks though. Interesting. It's um energy drinks, recovery drinks when you're kind of feeling sore, and then mm-hmm. a CBD drink. CBD is mm-hmm. really nice for um, for like relaxing the muscles after a hard day's work. Mm-hmm. When I come back from work and I have one, I always feel much better after like about mm-hmm. thirty minutes to an hour versus me not having one. They're very nice. Gotcha. Very expensive, though. Yeah. Try not to buy them too. Early. Now, there's plenty of places where we could start at this, Alex. But okay. I want to start in one specific place, Alex. I want to bring to your attention YouTube.com, and I want you okay. to search Abandon Teaser Trailer. Do that for me. Now, there's a reason I didn't prep oh. any of this stuff for Alex. I want him Abandoned. to organically find all this. Teaser Abandoned trailer. Teaser trailer. We're gonna watch this together. Okay. So you want me to go ahead and start it? Go ahead and go ahead and start it. All right. Um, you watch it, and uh, it's not much. Yeah, it's about a minute and a half. About a minute and a half. Go ahead, you okay. start it. I'm gonna go ahead and get it for the viewers because I just realized there might not be people who have watched this yet. So I want to grab it just in case someone has it. I'll pull it up. Uh, as of note, this was three months ago. That's important to know, Alex. It's important to know. So, viewers, I'm what? grabbing this for you. What's right important now. to know? It's this was three months ago. This, this was three. This okay, trailer. April. I see it. I see it. Okay. That's when this trailer right. happened. Three months. Viewers, here it is for you, right there. We're gonna put this in uh, theater mode. That there. That in the corner, and we're gonna play. So this abandoned trailer. A story we're gonna watch a little bit of it, all and then of us. we're gonna go. Imagine what was that? Waking up at a place far, far away from home. Now, important to note: two things with this trailer. You don't really need to what? hear any of this. Okay, so okay, I was about to say you keep talking, and you, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you, you don't really need to hear any of this, if I'm being perfectly honest. Just pay attention okay. to the visuals here. Okay, it just sounds interesting, so that's why I kind of want to. Uh, yeah, no, go to ahead, it. go ahead. I'll talk okay. to the achievers if you want to kind of you know increase the volume and, and, and yeah, get me out of here. So, 
the Chiefs. A lot here. Now, this is his first time watching this. Important to note, PlayStation uploaded this video onto their YouTube page. Now, they do do smaller indie studios. This isn't out of the ordinary. But this is strange. I wanted to bring up slowly again for people who already know this. I want to bring this slowly to everyone. So when we start making the leaps, they're a little more believable. Where we start at. This abandoned trailer. So far, nothing, right? Just the survival horror kind of thing. It's not much going on, really, right? It all looks pretty plain. Nothing is really happening. I'm being perfect, right? Abandoned. That's it, right? That's kind of weird. PlayStation put this up. They got their own PlayStation blog. Just a little strange. Right? Why would this? First off, no one's heard of this studio, as far as I understand, right? But they got a PlayStation blog. You know, it happens, right? You don't hear of every studio, of everyone, but quarter four, twenty twenty one. So, Alex, what the hell is this? So, we're gonna start at a couple places, but first, uh, you might not have heard me. I'm gonna re say what I just told the achievers. Okay. I want you to know two specific things about this trailer. One, okay. that this is on PlayStation's YouTube. Yes. They're verified, so we know this is real. Mm -hmm. Also, Alex, this has a PlayStation blog. Okay. So a PlayStation blog just to itself. Kind of weird. Interesting. I'm not going to say the big one yet out of this because it's going to kind of pull away from important things so we you know it's not uncommon for someone you haven't heard of to get a playstation bug right mm -hmm. you know it happens you might not hear of some studios but what the weirdest thing happened with this when this was first revealed the blue box twitter page started tweeting hints at this may be some sort of Silent Hill esque game. Mm. And that's when it all started. And then that, Alex, is when it gets even crazier. Okay? Okay. So, th the theory is that this abandon has something to do with Hideo Kojima. Mm. Blue Box Studios, okay. head of Blue Box Studios, Hassan Karaman. And their Twitter page, if you go to their Twitter, okay. has been tweeting basically that they're hinting at they're going to do a Silent Hill game and then immediately saying they're not. So they've been going back and forth mm. a lot. Not really okay. cementing in one position or another this is Silent Hill or not. And they keep saying, it's not, we're just kidding. Haha, -ha. our, our game starts with S and N and L. Things like this. Kind of messing with people. Mm -hmm. And then it gets weird. So, I'm going to read from Screen Rant over here, okay? The conspiracy of a Kojima-developed Silent Hill spiritual sector began with two not-so-convincing pieces of evidence. Kojima sharing initials with the abandoned director, Hassan Karaman, and Blue Box being coded for BB, Bridge Babies, of course, from Death Stranding. The conspiracy was apparently dead on arrival when Blue Box immediately came out and denied any accusations with Kojima. After all, Blue Box is apparently a small studio based in the Netherlands. Weird, right? So all this stuff comes out. They immediately say, no, no, we're not with Kojima. It was all just kind of a trick. And they're kind of messing with people. So, you'd think it'd be dead, right? Okay. No. No, no, no. No, this gets fucking crazy. All right. The whole reason that stems from us thinking that this might be something out of nothing is because Kojima has done things like this before. He made a dummy studio to announce Metal Gear Solid 5. It was called um God, I don't remember. I have it right up here. Um he created a uh, yeah, I have it right here. Um a, he created a person called Joachim Mongren, and the studio was called Moby Dick. And what he did was basically pretended that they were uh, making it up. And then he did the same thing with PT, and it was called 7780s Game. 
uh, studios. So he has a track record of doing crazy stuff like this. Now, here's another thing. People have spotted the Netherlands flag on Sam Bridges' backpack in the Death Stranding <clears throat> Director's Cut teaser trailer. So on his backpack, there's straight up just Netherlands flag for no reason. He doesn't have it in any of the other games or any part of Death Stranding. Um, if you look at the Twitter page of Blue Box, they post at very strange time. In the middle of the night for their time zone, but it would be the mid-morning for someone who lives in Japan. And Alex, I want you to. What I want you to do now is stop me when you've had enough and you need to talk more about this. Okay. So, another thing about this. Okay. When you, <clears throat> and this might be the weirdest thing out of all of this. Mm -hmm. When you take Hassan Karaman, and you take it because he's a Turkish man and that lives in Sweden. And you take okay. it and you put it into Google Translate, Alex. What do you think you get? I don't know you what. You get Hideo Kojima. Shares it from Turkish to Japanese. You get Hideo Kojima. <sighs> yeah. If you'd like to, you can do it yourself right now. Turkish, Japanese. You get Hideo Kojima. It's, right. Which is funny because literally on a month ago they said they have no relation to Kojima at all. They did. They did. They said that specifically. Then they went back on it and started pretending like they were making a Silent Hill game again. And then they said it again that they aren't doing it. So this is when it, it, it just this is this is either all fake or all real. And if you think we're not even like we're like stepped our toes in this. We're not even anywhere near the end. Anywhere near the end. Now, at it's one point in that thing. abandoned trailer, there is a um, factory. And the factory has uh, tree limbs over the uh, words P and T. That's a little thing. Nothing crazy, but it's a little strange that there's trees covering those two specific letters out of that. Now, another weird thing. Fans have discovered that Blue Blocks came to have a team of more than 50 people working on this, yet LinkedIn shows no employees other than Karaman. And I think since then, there are some now, but all of them have stock photos, so none of them uh, look like real at all. And then it gets weirder when one Jeff Keighley gets involved. So first off, we can't trust Jeff Keighley because he, he was one of the people that lied last time about this um, in Metal Gear in 2013. He pretended to know the fake CEO Kojima made. He actually made an, a fake interview with him too and everything. You said Turkish into Japanese? I think it was Turkish to Japanese. I, I just tried that and it doesn't work. Hold on. Give me one second. It I says Asanshiro Hasan is what pops up on Google. Give me one sec. I have it right here. Um... Name Karaman in Turkish translate to Hideo in Japanese, or, according to Google Translate. You mean just oh, just Karaman? Karaman in Turkish translates to Hideo in Japanese. That's what it's. Uh, called. It says hero. Yeah, hero means Hideo, and Karaman means hero in Turkish. Hmm. That's how. That's how they got the uh, thing going. Hmm. I like it. I like. It. I like the. I think it. I, I, mm, I like. I, I like that you're skeptical. I, I, see, I'm. I'm. We need balance. I don't think we need so. balance. We need balance. It's okay. It's perfectly fine for you to doubt this because I'm fully in. Like I, I am. I, my eyes are up to to, to high heaven. Blue Box tried to raise just under twelve thousand dollars from a Kickstarter campaign in 2015 to make a horror game called Rewind. The crowdfunding project ended with two hundred and seven dollars in pledges. Two hundred and seven. Karaman canceled the Kickstarter, writing that Rewind would be quote fully funded by a private investor end quote. But the game never came out. A different game connected to Blue Box was buggy and poorly received when it debuted last year. Oh, Alex, 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 Alex. Again, one of the weirdest things is no one knows who this man is. No one has come out to say they know Hassan Karaman. No one has come out to say they've worked with him. No one says they know someone who works at his fake studio that apparently exists in the Netherlands. He keeps tweeting out at random hours of the night. Now, Alex, 
Mm. I would like to bring to your attention a counterpoint. If you go over to Blue Box Studios, not only did he get a special trailer on the PlayStation YouTube video, not only did he get a PlayStation blog, Alex, this, again, guy that no one knows, he also is getting a PlayStation app for his game. You heard me right. A app for his game that's just a trailer. An app for his game that's just a trailer. That doesn't make any sense. I want to... The website's down for blue books. Like... There's so much I want to show you. Okay, here we go. I wanted to find this. So, this is a counterpoint to me. Now, this, this could prove me wrong. This could prove me right. I want your... I want your uh, attention on it. Now, Alex, the name, th no, for, out of everything we've done, I don't buy the name thing. I've tried all the name co combinations. Nothing pops up to it that. It means hero. And hero means uh, Hideo in Japanese. And hero is um, uh, Karaman, I think is the one. I think Karaman is the one that's hero. Or maybe the other one. I don't know. I mean, Not literally important. just, uh, I don't Not know. Important. Not important. Not important. Um, you can't find this, Alex. Uh, please, Twitter. Okay. Blue Box Studios. I'm on their page. Scroll until you see a video of a very handsome young man. You talking about of him himself? Yes. The You're update. You're gonna watch this with me. Okay. You're gonna watch this with me now. Don't play it just yet. I want the achievers to watch this with me. Okay. And I want you to tell me what you think of this. All right. Play in three, two. Hello everyone, I'm Hassan from Blue Box Game Studios, the game director for Abandoned. Um, the last two weeks was really stressful to us. The team is very tired. Um, we were hoping to release the app today, and I know that a lot of you have been looking forward to for it, so thank you very much for that. I really appreciate that. Um, however, I've decided to um, delay the app until uh, August. That is when the uh, first trader will also be released. Um, we just wanted to give you a, a fir solid first impression of the game. Um, right now the app isn't quite there yet. Uh, we just wanted to have it uh, meet our own expectations first. Um, there are also last minute bugs that we had to deal with. The localization isn't fully uh, completed yet. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you understand. I'm sorry for this. And uh, yeah, thank you for your support. Alex, three things. You and I have been in games for how long together? Let's say seven years, right? Okay. We've been ingesting games okay. very heavily. Okay. That's being pretty conservative, right? I mean, way you more than seven look, years, but... <laughs> it's been way more than seven years. You see, look me in the eyes, Alex. Look me mm -hmm. in my eyes, and you tell me you've ever seen someone that's ahead of a game studio that looks that handsome. Tell me that right now with a straight fucking face. This is clearly someone that's been paid. He looks way too nice. One, he looks way too nice and put together. Two, he's too clean. Three, he's professionally lit. Why is, what is this? First off, there, it looks like he's pretending to be on a phone right now. This man has professional photography and, and audio right now. Clearly... He's professionally lit. Look at the light. It's going across his face and creating a, um, an equal lighting similar to what Alex looks like right now. Alex, you look great. Good shit. And then his audio is way too clean. This is clearly professionally put together. Counterpoints, Alex. Are you saying, you're, you're thinking this man is fake? This man is someone they paid to pretend to be a man called Hassan Karaman. Okay. What do you think? You're not buying it. I love this. I love that. I thought you were going to I thought you were going to be immediately with me. I love that you don't believe it. I am I fucking can't wait. All right. So, is this the same motherfucker? This That was posted June 25th. We get a second update on their Twitter page, July 14th. We have changed the app name from Real-Time Trailers to Real-Time Experience. 
So the app will be released as a real-time experience. What can you expect? Multiple trailers with duration between 5 to max 12 minutes. Gameplay demonstration. Future live events when available. So, first off, no one does this. He's making just a random app for PlayStation? Why? Why does PlayStation care? Why are they letting him do any of this? Again, why did he get a maybe PlayStation to, bot? No one knows who this may, man is. Maybe the app has to, is to connect the... Like, like, you can do stuff before the game, and then it connects. It says it's real time, so I don't know. We get an update. This is one of the... This is one of the craziest things, Alex. What is Hideo Kojima known for probably most, Alex? Above everything, every, everything else, what do you think his most recognizable and famous game is? Isn't it Metal Gear Death Stranding? Correct, Metal Gear. Metal Gear Metal Solid Gear. is by far the most recognizable game and the most uh, popular game he's made. I go to this random picture called Abandoned Real-Time Experience, only for PS5. And this was on July 27th. And look what they posted. Look at this. What is this? This is clearly... Look, this is a guy that clearly has an eye patch over his eye. What is this? Oh my god, it is not Snake. It's not Snake. I'm not saying it's Snake. When you take away the blur, it's a default asset flip from Unreal Engine. But why would they put this guy here? Can you just give me know. one reason? Is this the main character of the, of, the, of the game? It's not because it's just an asset flip from Unreal Engine. So why put him here at all? Another thing, the trailer we watched earlier... None of that is actually made content. That is all asset flips. What an asset flip is, is thing that when you use an engine like Unreal, mm -hmm. they give you things as basically templates. They just use the templates over and over again. So all that is just free stuff they reused for assets. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not buying them a lot of this, but it does kind of piss me off that i can't find this man anywhere isn't that kind of weird no one knows who he is the only person that's pretended to know who he was is one jeff Keeley. we can't believe him and i love you jeff Keeley. but when you were asked about who kasan karaman is you had the biggest shit eating grin i've ever seen in my life when you were asked that I'm going to see if I can show you this, Alex, because you're not going to believe it. I think this was on... Um... I wish I can take the picture of this man and Google lens it and see if anything finds see it. See if... Yeah, I wish... Actually, that's not a bad idea. I've never thought about that. I don't have a, my, I don't have a Google phone. My wife does. Uh, but, like, like, you know when you can take a picture of something and you can Google lens it and, fi and it finds similar items mm -hmm. like like I on Google. Exactly I wonder if I could do that with him with his face because it is bothering me that I can't find him on anything. anything. Instagram, nothing. No one knows who this man is. No one has said a single word about him. I I would be I would shut up tomorrow if someone went. Oh, Hassan. Yeah, I uh, we used to work at a porting studio. We ported X game to PC. That's it. I'd be like, okay, cool. And I'd stop all of this. No one knows who this is. He looks way too handsome and clean to be anywhere near a game development studio. They're all dirty, and you know it, Alex. You oh. know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being mean. I'm being mean. It, it's, it, I'm, I'm saying all this in general. Now, July 28th, we get yet another update. With Abandoned, we want to deliver a new gameplay narrative. The way you explore, fight, and progress is all done differently and unique with the real-time experience. You only get to see high-end graphics. You also experience how the game feels like. After all the real-time experiences, the game application does much more than just video. We, be we believe a real-time experience app is a next-gen feature that won't be uh, possible before thanks to a fast SD. Allowing us to travel from point A to point B instantly and to load data fast to an in-game cinematic in form of a trailer makes perfect sense and is a nice feature to have next to a usual video. All content from real-time experience can also be found online on YouTube and from our headset at HQ Video, but we recommend on PS5 owners to experience it all through the app for the best experience. Oh, Alex, what is this? 
What do you think? Again, June 15th, they say, we wanted to set things straight. We have no relation with Konami. Silent Hill is owned by Konami. We do not have any relations with Hideo Kojima. It was never our intention to tease the name of Silent Hill. We sincerely apologize for this, they say. June 15th. And then they do all this. Again, they, they show a picture of a blurred face with a man missing an eye. He's contemplating, ladies and gentlemen. He's thinking. You know what? Let him think. Let him think. Achievers, it's you and me right now. He's, he's contemplating. I like this. I, I like this. I thought this was going to be just a bunch of me and him just agreeing the whole time. I like this way better. So, this is from <sighs> Gaming Leaks and Rumors, a great Reddit page. And here's some possible hints. I've written out some, but I wanted to take a few from this because, first off, this is great. This is by You Aid This Fellow User. That's, I guess that's what his name is. Anyways. Uh, yeah, yep, that's the thing. Um, yeah, Jeff Keighley, we went over this, but he also pretended to talk to Blue Box beforehand. Um, and what he did was, Alex, is he screenshotted his phone through Twitter private messaging, right? Twitter has a feature that tells you when you last talk to that person, unless it's the same day. He posted this picture two months later, pretending to be like, yeah, we talk all the time. This is them messaging me. It has no timestamp. That means it was, t that means he screenshotted that, that one message that same day. So either he just takes screenshots of random private messages he gets from companies, or he took it that same day and then is lying to us. Why would he lie to us? To cover for Hideo Kojima. Employees that company LinkedIn really profile. This. Employees that company LinkedIn profile uses stock photos. Not weird, right? No, that's not weird. That's not weird that no employees have any identification. Any, not one, not a single one. He said 50 people work there. 50 people. A couple months later, Blue Box Game Studios revealed that they'll have their own PS5 app. That's the craziest thing. This is curi curiously specific that not even first party PlayStation Studio games have done this. So it raised some eyebrows that this unknown game studio will be the first to pioneer the feature. Another game that got a console application as a teaser. PT. You remember that? That a little console feature that turned out to be an actual game. Blue Box tweeted in one of their tweets that their game would feature, quote, snowflakes of blood, in quotes. That was also used in a PTT. Blue Box Game Studios appears to have been founded in 2015, exactly one year after the release of PT, and right around the time Kajina was going through his breakup with Konami. That could be circumstantial. I, I don't really call that as a specific indicator blue box game studio only other game named the whisperer was completed by another studio and its icon alex is a black handprint just like in death stranding one of their canceled games alex is called lost tapes this is a soundtrack title in metal gear solid 5 uh and an another one hassan Karaman has the same initials as Gary kojima the other thing is way more compelling is that Hassan, uh, I think it's uh, Hassan and Hideo mean hero. I think is what it is. Uh, again, important to note, most of the tweets made by Blue Box are at strange local time hours of around 3 a.m. in their time. They say they're claimed in the Netherlands, so either they're awake at 3 a.m. tweeting, or someone in Japan is tweeting at 10 a.m. in the morning. Hassan Karaman has an account on PSN called Sneaky Warrior with the total number of trophies at 1238. The same for the Japanese Silent Hill commercial. That one's pretty crazy. Uh, Hassan had a YouTube channel called 2727. Silent Hills was canceled on April 27th. Sneaky Warrior, uh, which is, of course, um, Hassan Karaman's PSN profile, played a game that isn't available on the PlayStation Store that is using Siren Head as an image. 
Uh, Junji Ito reacted to Siren Head a few months ago and implied about working with Kojima. Again, we covered it on the show. If you remember months ago, Hideo Kojima posted that picture with seven different Silent Hill references in it. Alex, do you remember this? He Say had a, again? he, uh, I think it was, I, I don't remember the time frame. I, it was months ago. Hideo Kojima posted on his Twitter page hit that one picture had seven different Silent Hill references in it. Yeah, yeah. He I was holding a pencil that had Pyramid Head on it. There was like some other reference. I'm not a big Silent Hill guy, so I don't know. But like, like there was like seven different things in one image. It was mm-hmm. like posted at a weird time too, like stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah. So it says. Okay, they keep saying this, and it's weird that it doesn't work now, but Hideo translated from Japanese to Turkish means Karaman, which is the last name of Hassan Karaman, um, and both of their names mean hero in respective languages. This, Alex, this is, this, Alex, is the fucking weird one. Hassan Karaman does have an Apple App Store profile with a bunch of low-quality asset flip games under his belt. Low-quality asset flips, meaning you get free content and just flip it, make it different colors and stuff. The only app that is not a game is called GoFit XL, which sits under the health and fitness category. The description of this, Alex, this app, you may ask, is called Personal Trailer. Personal Training, sorry. It's called Personal Training, parentheses right next to it, PT, PT Programs. It's, it's, it's confusing me, too, because when you look at it, uh, LinkedIn and you go under Hassan's thing, it says that he's been a engineer. I'm assuming it's engineer for experience. And it says he's been with Blue Box Game Studios since April 2014 to present. But if you go to a different website and it's like Crunchbase, it tells you Blue Box Game Studio was founded in August 12, 2015. Yep, 2015. Was a year later. year later. Yep make any sense i now bring you alex to june 9th Dale's twitter page thanks harper books the silent wife by karen slaughter the latest in the will trent series the last window was cat kidnapping action and then there's, there's Joe, Joe Hill's short story, Full Throttle. He's much more interesting in short stories than in long ones. Looking forward to both of them. Are you kidding me with this? He's taunting <laughs> us at this point. He's taunting yeah, that us. One, yeah, that one's pretty bad. That, thank you. Thank you. Like, that, the that silent one is pretty wife, bad. Joe Hill. What? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to explode. Yeah, that one that one's pretty bad. That one you guys just like really, really that's a little. <laughs> that's a little on the nose. I agree. Uh, like again, I believe all of this. Just a heads up, everyone. We're gonna get into like talking about this later. I, I want to bring all the evidence and then we'll talk about it. Um. Uh. Another weird thing: the blue box thing is the, the PlayStation Studios logo is a blue box. So like that's a, another weird thing. Um. Mm-hmm. There's a picture of Hideo Kojima on his Instagram holding a blue box. It, <laughs> and he's smiling. Like, it's like, what the f- <laughs> It just, again, it's, it's just so weird. Uh, Jeff Keighley follows the studio on both Twitter and Instagram. Jeff Keighley follows Blue Box, a nobody studio that nobody knows. We still haven't seen gameplay of this video game. Everything we've seen are asset flips. They're using abandoned real-time experience. Again, a fake face, an asset-flipped face as their cover art on their Twitter page. This is just too crazy to not be something. Alex. Definitely, something's definitely wrong with Hassan, whoever the fuck that is. I don't know. It's not real. I clicked bad website. Let's get out of there. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look. I'm going to I'm going to give I'm going to be devil advocate for a second. Let's just say he's mm. fucking with all of us. He's fucked if if that's true. He's fucked. That you can't do this. You can't pretend it will blow up in your face. If this is actually all just a coincidence, which again, there's just no way that all of, uh, you one or two things, three things, five things. Let's say five things as a coincidence, I would have been like, "Okay, world's weird. We just named like 20 different things that is weird." Asset flipping. PT's covered in the trailer. PT is his one app store thing he made. Asset flip garbage uh, app games that he's made. Again, Hassan Karaman. Karaman, Hideo, both meaning hero in their language. It, it's <laughs> like it, the, the, twi- the tweet. It's silent. J- Joe Hill. It's too much. It's too much, Alex. And then, if you remember, we have their blooper team um, rumor that they were making a Silent Hill game. Now they're not. So that, where, where is that game now? Where is Silent Hill in general? Who knows? I don't care about this fucking game, but this thing is too crazy to ignore. Oh, there's a, there's a, and that, that one's kind of not coincidence. What is it? It's uh, Phil Tippett's Mad God, uh, Guillermo. It says it's a, I can't tell, it looks like a movie. It's by, with uh, Guillermo del Toro. But it's funny because the, the director is Phil Tippett's PT also. Oh my God. But which is, it's just, it's uh, weird. It's just too much. It's, again, it's, it's, it can't, it can't be. It, it can't be anything else. Now I'm done being devil's advocate. I'm I'm going back to to crazy crazy town, Alex. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This man does not is not real. Again, too too pretty. He's too clean. He's his shirt. He's wearing a turtleneck. Never seen. A I mean, he person. is real, but he's not who he says he is. You're just saying. Okay, <laughs> sure. Yes, I, I, Hassan Karaman does not exist. <laughs> and if he does exist, it, it's. It's not in the context of this situation. Anyways. I think it's... Like this... Like, what do you think? I feel like it's too good to be true. Because I think Hideo is that type of motherfucker that would do this to people. Yeah. But it's not he's true. He's done it twice, Alex. Again, he's done it twice. With the PT thing... And Metal Gear Solid Five. He already did the Metal Gear Solid thing. He he made a fake person, and he also made Jeff Keighley interview a fake person. What is up well, with see, that? Well, see if he's done it. If he, yeah, I mean Jeff Keighley has been in on it too. Then I mean Jeff Keighley's in it. He, that's why he can't trust anything he said. He was doing a little Twitter thing, and someone asked, "Do you know who Hassan Karaman is?" And he literally looks like this, like, "Oh come on, everyone knows who Hassan Karaman is." Like with a, Alec, I'm not joking. He looked like the Joker. His his smile was so big. Like I was like, he's clearly lying about something. Again, he's screenshotting random studios asking him questions. There's no time step on the, the thing. He's not just screenshotting random blue box. Ugh. Alex. I'm putting on my tinfoil hat. It's time to talk. What is this? Where is it going? Where the fuck did you and get the tinfoil? I, I, you don't you have that ready. You not have tinfoil just like on your desk at all times? No. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyways, all right. Oh, is this Silent Hill? I think it is because there's just too much pointing at a Silent Hill game. I think it's clear that first off. Konami is getting back into the games industry. We know that because there's a ratings filing for the Castlevania Advanced Collection. They've showed recent interest in trying to slowly get back into the industry. I think they're they we got the uh, information that they were trying to work with Blooper Team with the um, Silent Hill game, but they had to to leave that. Konami's trying to get back. He's, Why did either, he? What? 
Five hours ago, Konami said you can now pre-order the Silent Hill collector's hoodie. That was another thing that people brought up, that they're selling like, Silent Hill merchandise on their yeah, like, fucking why, webpage. Why now? Why of all times It's a cool ass hoodie, I'm not gonna lie. Is it really? Yeah, it's yeah, a really I, nice hoodie. I'm gonna get distracted. I can't look at it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really nice hoodie. It's a, it says it's gone now, and it, on the back it has the symbol with uh, like the biggest symbol with a uh, pyramid head. Pyramid head. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and cool. there's like a, arms on the sleeve. It says there was a hole here, and there's like it's going down right here. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's it's cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I have to look that up later. But um, aside from that, what? First off, this is really fun. Regardless if this turns out to be true or not, this was this is fun. Just trying to figure out like what this is, what's going on, and just laughing at how ridiculous all this is. It's definitely weird. What do you? What do? You, where are you at right now? Like, if you had to make a decision right now, yes or no? Is this is? There's so many different ways you can answer this. It. It's it's unfair. It's, it's I think there, we... there's okay. There's definitely something in the works. They're that's definitely not hiding abandoned. something. That, that's not abandoned. Hmm. And, I don't th- mm. that, see. It's, it gets awkward because I don't think abandoned. The game abandoned. Exist. I, I, I that whatever we saw I, that is a game, but I don't feel like it's going to be called abandoned. Okay, so I agree, but not in the same way. I, I think abandoned is something. Mm. But it's not what we've seen. Nothing of we've seen abandoned. That again, you can't. They're not. They're. You're not gonna make a game where you just flip assets. You just. You're not. You can't. And, and again. And if you are, you're fucking. You're not getting a PlayStation app. You're damn sure not getting a PlayStation blog. So it's not. What we saw is not gonna be the game. We're getting something mm. else. It's gonna be. Either Silent Hill or some Kojima thing. I assume it's Silent Hill. And Norman Reedus is going to probably be a baby at some point. I don't, I don't remember how Death Stranding ended. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, that th- this is... I mean, this is kind of where we're going to end the video, I guess. That, that we've, we've talked it all through. That's what Blue Box is. I'm, I know it's something else. Whether it's... Silent Hill or not, I don't know. I do think there's a chance we can all still be disappointed by what this actually turns out to be because this could still be like nothing too crazy. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if uh, we're due for a PlayStation event. Um, you know this, correct? Mm-hmm. We're due for an event uh, because that's where the new Call of Duty is going to be released. Uh, released jesus unveiled at this playstation event whenever this happens that's going to be revealed most likely and then they're going to reveal um uh i wouldn't be shocked if we get whatever this is like if they if they go to show abandoned and it's actually like something else <sighs> don't get read this is weird yeah and he's i think he's in it somehow i don't remember how i think he follows someone or he took a picture um, with somebody. Well, I was trying to see if there's anything on his pages and stuff, but it, but it, it's, it's he's he's he has weird shit. <laughs> uh, Jeevers, thank you so much for being on this crazy ride. My head is really hot because Tinfoil likes to keep in heat, so I gotta go before I go and severe brain damage. Thank you for listening to whatever this was. This is probably the craziest thing. I guess marketing wise in video games in a long time. I can't think of anything nearly this crazy. I mean, we're straight up theorizing about a man that probably doesn't exist in and again, Alex, one of the weirdest things this has been happening since like June, the beginning of June. Mm-hmm. The on, only one party has to say nothing. This is nothing. One someone, either Kojima <laughs> or either PlayStation. Someone all all to end it all. Someone just has to say, I'm not involved. And no one's done that yet. You can't tell me Hideo does not know this is going on. If he wasn't involved, he would know. And he'd go, uh, I'm not doing that. PlayStation giving these fucking guy we don't know about a PlayStation blog and a YouTube channel. <sighs> it just doesn't fucking add up. 
Thank you so much for listening. Alex, thank you for joining me for this blue box conspiracy video. I'm going to go drink water and try to bring down the brain damage. Remember? Have you what? Have you seen this Needler controller? This has nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> but no, I haven't. What is it? The hey, the new Xbox controller. It's a it's a it, you can uh, pre orders on trends trezn dot com or whatever, and it's a it's a Halo controller. Uh, if for, but it has like a needler and here I'll send it to you. It's for a f uh, oh I don't know what this is achievers. Yeah. He's it's his fault. Blame him. It's his fault. Look, you're you got my head all in a fucking twist, all right? I have your head in a twist. All right. <laughs> all right whatever that is yep all right achievers i'm not gonna let you not see this so let's bring it back up here let's do this let's kick on there make sure no porn showing no porn is showing no i mean this is kind of porn come on look jesus christ it says that you can pre-order which is confusing me really but i no can't way. i can't tell that well i don't know what it's from that's why i'm trying to figure well, out Pope it's like Art, it says pop art does cool just stuff like this Okay, because well, cause this is right here. Last chance to buy right now before we stop pre-orders. It says this is our fast selling, fastest selling controller. Look at this achievers! My God, this is like crazy. like oh, those triggers. Oh, like the needler is is like my one of my main weapons. It was like if I can buy this controller, Alex, I guarantee it's probably over a hundred dollars. Oh, probably. Let me see. A pop art controller. Oh, there's a bunch of controllers. Let me see. Here, see Halo, Halo Needler. Any... Oh, there it is. Add to cart. It's a, oof, 150 bucks. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, yeah. That's what credit cards are for, I guess. <laughs> she was thank you so much for listening to this. What do you think this is? Comment below again. I get it if you don't trust it. I, I mean, it's the internet. You can make up anything. I and and I wanted to get to it. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just trolling all of us. But again, someone would have said something. Bad. Someone would have said something. Bad. So much for watching and listening. I comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Okay, we're good. Go, chief.